yes hello guys and welcome to my very first tutorial i have uh, started up series of do it yourself and i am samuel sendi from mobs doing bachelor of business computing yes now um i decided to come up with tutorials to help those students who weren't there during orientation time or um if you are around and you feel like you need more enlightenment of where to press how to do it and actually how to do it yourself so this is my very first uh, tutorial in the series of do it yourself and i'll be taking you through lots of things but uh, in this particular tutorial as today we were told that we need to do online registration yes now um we need to do both manual registration and online registration this semester and um this is a portal where you need to actually register online uh, for the MOOCs section and I'll be doing tutorials of about very many things I'll be showing you how to create accounts on the online portal on the e-learning online portal for MOOCs where you can actually access your lecture contents your lecture notes and other other related things so um this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can actually log in or how you can actually access the portal where you are required to register online uh, before wasting time let me um, take you through briefly what these tutorials are going to be about uh, and they're going to be about how you can actually do it yourself how you can actually use the computer related things and you do it yourself i'm going to be doing tutorials um how you can create accounts on the mob safe uh, e-learning portal i'm going to be doing tutorials on how to share information how to share lecture notes and how to successfully um check your um registration status and your financial status and your cgpa and among other things so without wasting time let me dive into it so um this is the portal that you need or the address which you need to follow so that you can access this point so one of the way to do it you open chrome a browser you need a computer of course and a working internet so you open a browser i prefer chrome you can use uh, mozilla firefox or microsoft edge or um, safari or opera mini any that you like but personally i use chrome because uh, it works best for me so you can go to google if you don't want to memorize the address you can go to google and search for portal moves just like that and it will bring you links and one of the first two links actually this so uh, as soon as you see https uh, for two forward slashes and then portal that moves it se.ug then there you go all manually you can just type in the address into your address bar which is uh portal.mobs.se.ug and yes you will land onto this page and this page uh, has three links there's a student's home a student's portal home page and the faculty portal home page and course schedule and what we are interested in right now at this particular moment is a student's portal so you click onto that link and it will take you to a login page where to ask for your credentials that is a username and your password so like we are told your username is your student's number and that student's number can be found on your provisional admission letter or admission letter that is if you already got your admission letter so um you use your student's number you type it in and then the default password which is mobs in small letters lowercase no uppercase no space just mobs so you type it in but it is advisable you change yours just like how i did because uh, because of security reasons uh, you need to be the only one to access your portal you don't let anyone do it for you that's why i'm doing these tutorials to help you um get a, a better idea how to best do it yourself that's why i term these tutorials as do it yourself when you're done feeding in your student's number in the username provision and password which is moves for now you press on the login button and with this login button it will direct you 
to a page this page as for now like i told you at the beginning of this tutorial that we need to do manual registration this semester and online registration now after doing the manual registration they will enable the system and there will be links available right around here there will be links uh, to the registration side to the finances to the um, academic side where you can actually track your performance or your financial status and links where you can change your profile and your password and so many more but as for now this is all that we have as freshers this is what we have available but i just wanted to show you how you can access the portal and maybe next time you can do it yourself so you need to cross check this information and make sure it's your correct user uh, um, your correct name your correct student number and the registration number plus the course that you're offering at MOOCs. In case there's anything or there's any query, you can go and visit um, the registrar's office uh, at uh, um, uh, room 507. It will be of, uh, you, you'll be helped from there for more information. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned in. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be about how to create um, account on the e-learning portal for MOOCs that is MOOCSIP and uh, you don't want to miss so don't forget to log out